What's up everyone? Welcome back to my second dev vlog of my dream multiplayer FPS. If you haven't seen my first dev vlog, well let me say one thing. Welcome. To catch you up, I'm currently developing a multiplayer FPS called Project Breakthrough, which will have multiple game modes, ranging from team deathmatch, free for all, to search and destroy. The environment is mostly destructible, which means thank god for no campers. You can shoot holes through walls, throw grenades to make an entrance, destroy a second floor to keep your enemies from hiding. Now that I got you caught up, let's get the video rolling. To start off with my recent updates, I started working on a new prototype map, which has been very helpful when it comes to the destruction part of my game and seeing how it plays out. From previously using the tutorial I followed off of Brackies or Pro Builder, I decided to stop being a dweeb and make my own map. I used Blender to make multiple props to give the map some life, like a container, a concrete cylinder, a barrel, pallets, and a truck. In Unity, I made multiple walls out of cubes. When I first started making the walls that feel right for the destruction, I was literally moving cubes by the transforming editor until I thought it lined up. Without realizing that there's actually a hotkey to snap vertices, the V key by the way, my god I wasted time. So once I finally found that out, I made walls with windows, doors, and normal walls, which has helped when it comes to making variations of buildings. The next addition to my game would be a couple things that basically tie themselves together, so why not make it one section since I don't want to bore you guys to death. But seriously guys, click subscribe. So I added a kill feed to be able to see the most recent kills and deaths. I also added a scoreboard which changes depending on the game mode. Each scoreboard keeps count of your name, your amount of kills, and the best part, the amount of times you die. So you can let your friends know how bad you suck. If the game mode is team deathmatch then the scoreboard also keeps track of the team points. Where whoever reaches the amount of points to win first takes the prize. I do plan on adding scores, assist, and 11 system but you know, Realm wasn't built in a day. One of the features I added which I'm actually fairly proud of and makes my life a whole lot worse is Steam Matchmaking. It took quite a bit to get it working to where I have it but in the end it helped so much. I'm now able to test with friends and even some members in my discord to help playtest so make sure to join to potentially help me test. This really helps you to being able to get actual feedback from someone other than me. Since I got Steam conversion done, I was able to finish up the lobby system from creating a lobby to joining a lobby. My original idea was public matchmaking, but at the moment since I'm too broke to pay the $100 fee for Steam, I have to use the free app ID they get for testing so the current servers are flooded. As you can see here, there are quite a bit of servers made which aren't from my game. I was able to shorten it by a lot as there are way too many than what you see now. For now, I'm going to use the lobby list until I find the time to set up a Steam page and rework the matchmaking. As far as guns in the game, I haven't done too much to really show other than adding a sniper into the game and modeling some pistols. I added a walking animation to the scar and a shooting animation for the sniper. I do plan on redoing all of the animations once I create my own character model, but for now, they're mostly placeholders. I also plan on spending a lot of time once I get these current features I'm working on done on the gun handling. I want it to be more fluid, from cleaner recoil to solid animations. The main thing with the sniper would be quick scoping. As I'm a huge fan, I do want to make it as fluid as possible and satisfying as possible. For now, I have the scope rendering with the second camera, but I haven't added a shader or anything yet. The idea behind my quick scoping has been from Modern Warfare 2, which in my opinion still has not been beaten. The way quick scoping in this game feels is so satisfying, I wanted to try this approach but a bit different. I want to have the aiming and using the scope more realistic, not using a picture and faking it, but actually using the scope of the gun. I think this approach can produce very satisfying results if done correctly. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. The last addition to my game for this dev vlog would be the updates to the lobby. As those who saw my first dev vlog, I wanted to achieve a 3D lobby system. So to make that possible, I added game modes as I said earlier, team deathmatch, and free for all, just for now. A voting system has also been implemented where once the lobby reaches the minimum amount of players needed, it will start the voting period, where each player can vote for the game mode choice. After the voting period ends, there will be another 10 second timer, letting the players know that it's time for the game to start. Alright everyone, that's it for the video. If you like where the game has headed, make sure to join our Discord where I post work in progresses and let some of you guys place test once needed. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. The rest of the video is some clips from playtesting, so feel free to stay and watch.